Our next guest, a world-renowned mountaineer, conservationist, photographer, and filmmaker, whose latest project, the photo exhibit Everest, Rivers of Ice, goes live as an interactive online experience starting today. Which just happens to be fall on the anniversary, the 60th anniversary of the first ever summit by Sir Edmund Hillary and his Sherpa Tenzig Norway. David Bashir is joining us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. You have climbed Everest five times since 1983. Uh, numerous award-winning films about the mountain. What inspired you to create this project? Well, I had been climbing in the region for 30 years. I had climbed Everest five, year, uh, five times, and I started to see changes mm -hmm. to the region. And, I start, and so I was sent to um, Mount Everest by the PBS series Frontline in 2007 with a single photo of the glacier, of what the glacier looked like in 1921. And I stood there with that photo, and we saw the change that had taken in 86 years. And I was astonished uh, by the changes I had seen, and I wanted to know more, so I started off on this six-year journey. In fact, we've got it right here, the 1921 yes. photo. Yeah, this was Everest in 1921, mm -hmm. the first photo ever difference. taken of the mountain. Well, it's hard, really, if I could tell you that the difference between here and here. You can go ahead and, and get up if you need here. to. You don't have to oh, stay in the chair. Are, oh, you really? Yeah, you go ahead. Get up there and okay. point us so out. Where we're here's at. the mountain. This is the picture George Mallory took, mm -hmm. the famed mountaineer um, who later died on Everest in 1924. Um, he took this photo in 1921. I took this photo in 2007. And the loss of mass, the vertical melt rate of the glacier, mm -hmm. was um, over 300 feet. Wow. And so we. I wondered what had happened uh, in between. Oh, what was occurring in this part of the uh, Himalaya that I've been climbing in for 30 years and yet I knew so little about. And, and in fact, you, you've now got this exhibit, uh, Rivers of, uh, Everest Rivers of Ice, right. it's been seen around the world, but now you, you've got it online and, and it makes it a much more interactive experience for people. Yeah, well, we'd been on 15 expeditions like uh, these here traveling to 22, 23,000 feet, hundreds of miles on foot, and we had all this imagery, hundreds of thousands of pictures, and we'd reached a dead end on how we could display this Im imagery with conventional um, internet technology. And so, thankfully and happily for GlacierWorks, we formed this fantastic partnership with Microsoft and Internet Explorer, because they'd been developing um, the type of technologies that would allow us to have this kind of uh, rich, immersive, interactive storytelling experience um, on the internet. Speaking of storytelling, you've climbed five times as we mentioned. What's the worst weather that you experienced on Everest? The worst weather was, <laughs> well, probably waiting for 14 days on a glacier. The weather wasn't terrible. It was cold and cloudy. Just to get one of these pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, we waited for um, 14 days near K2, the, sec the world's yeah. second highest mountain. And we've waited for weeks and weeks uh, here on Everest. Also, I did have, um, <clears throat> excuse me, some tough weather in 1986 uh, during the tragedy on Mount Everest, which resulted in the Everest IMAX film, uh, which I photographed. Well, David Brashears, it's really, the, the imagery is stunning. Anybody stunning. who wants it uh, should uh, check out glacierworks.org. Uh, we're going to put a link on it to I our I was already playing on well. this morning, looking Good. at it's all fantastic. of it. It's fantastic. Really I mean, great. it's a real yeah. world experience. It is. You can so travel much. wherever you want.